Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this ride that is kind of a cross between a Zamperla Windstars ride, but also it's kind of like the Hurricane or Downdraft model from Traveling Fairs, but could also be described as one of the Dumbo, the Flying Elephant, or Magic Carpets of Aladdin type ride from the Disney parks. So I'm not really sure what to call it because using something like the suspended swinging cars, it looks more like the Windstars model, but if you use something like the bumper boats, it seems to evoke more of the Downdraft or the Magic Carpets of Aladdin type ride. So let me know in the comments what you actually think this ride should be called but depending on the vehicle type you use, it's pretty versatile and it's pretty simple to make, just a little bit of shoestringing. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Steel Wild Mouse track, but you could use whatever you'd like. We are going to make a quick control track here. So it's just gonna be a little square shape here. That's gonna be the control track. Now I'm going to make the entrance and exit invisible. Now starting here in this corner, I'm going to delete this piece and do a straight piece of track and then a sharp turn. Now I'm going to go up two units and then do a larger sloped turn. And now we are going to build the track of the ride. So it's just gonna be a hill here, another turn, the bottom of the hill. Then we're gonna do a sloped turn again for another hill and then down and it's going to merge back in to the track, but we need to have disable clearance checks turned on. And now we can build the merge and it's complete. Now I made it blue for you so it's easier to see and I'm going to put that sharp turn back in there. Now I'm going to go to this corner and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to build the track again, this time starting right here on this corner and it's going to just basically be the exact same course and it merges in right here. Now it's yellow so you can see it. So now we have our track. Now I wanna change the operating mode. So we need to turn on the cheats. We need to have show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types and disable vehicle limits. With the cheats turned on, I can change this to powered launch passing station and I'm gonna set it to 20 miles per hour, but you can set it to whatever you'd like. Now for the trains, I'm going to use the barnstorming trains from one of the expansion packs. Now you can use whatever you'd like, but I prefer these trains because they have a really wide bounding box for the graphics. So if I choose to change these trains to something else, their large width is going to ensure that there's no graphical glitches, but you want one train with nine cars per train. Now I can test the ride and close it to spawn the vehicles and I'm going to make it easier for you to see them since they are a suspended train type there underground right now. Now I'm going to open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have it, the link is in the video description below. But using this plugin, I'm going to select our Steel Wild Mouse coaster and we are on vehicle one right now. So we want that to stay there. So selecting vehicle two, we need to move this forward onto the main track. So I'm gonna set the multiplier to 10 and then using track progress right here, we're gonna move it forward. And it should go over that straight piece of track here if everything's correct in the tile inspector. If not, you can always fix that. But now I'm moving vehicle two onto our main blue track and I'm going all the way around so it's right here at the bottom of that hill. And I'm gonna move vehicle three, three quarters of the way around so it's right here. And then vehicle four is gonna to move to the bottom of the hill there and vehicle five will go right here. Next, I need to open the tile inspector and change that first corner here so that the straight track is now above the sharp turn. So the sharp turn needs to be the lowest level in the tile inspector order here so that the trains will follow the sharp turn for the track. And whoops, I just realized I never put the sharp turn back in at this corner when I was building the track. So I need to do that, which means the vehicles disappeared and I have to respawn them and do everything again. So I'll do that really quick. So make sure the track is complete before you start moving the vehicles. But now we have them all back. And now for the last four vehicles, we need to make sure this sharp turn here is at the lowest level in the order of the tile inspector track. And then this corner here, we want the straight piece to be at the lowest level in the tile inspector order so that we can now move vehicle six onto the yellow track, but we want it to be located at the cross section of the yellow and blue track. So right here, right in between where they intersect. And then we're gonna do that for vehicle seven right here. So we're gonna move that to the intersection of those two tracks. So here is vehicle seven. 
and then we're gonna do that for eight and put it right there and then do it for nine. We got it right about here. So now we need to set the multiplier to one and make these locations a little bit more exact. So now going to vehicle two, which is right here, we need to move its track progress to zero. So it's going to be moved forward to zero and that's right at the start of the next track piece. Now we're gonna do the same for vehicle three. I wanna move that forward just till it gets to zero. And then we'll do that for vehicle four, move that but right here, it looks like it needs to go back a few units, and now it's at the start of the next piece of track. And then vehicle five, we need to move that. Looks like we need to move it back just a bit. Now for vehicle six. So this piece of track is a long curve. So if you go forward, it's actually 66 units in track progress before it sets to zero for the next track piece. So we want that right in the middle, so 34. So it's just a little bit over halfway. And we're gonna do that for vehicle seven, make sure it's at 34 for the track progress. And then we'll do that for vehicle eight. It looks like pretty close, 34. And then vehicle nine, we're gonna move that to 34. And now they are all spaced correctly, about even with each other. And now we can open the tile inspector and make sure this corner here has the sharp turn as the lowest level in the order of track pieces. And then that will ensure that vehicle one will stay on the red control track. So I'm going to change vehicle one to the log trains. And then we can test the ride and make sure that it stays on the red track. So testing the ride here, it looks like our vehicle one is staying on the red control track and everything works as it should. So now I am going to close the ride really quick and then I'm going to make vehicle one here on the control track invisible by changing the variant to the invisible variant. So now we have our working ride and I'm going to change the ride type to the inverted impulse coaster and the number of circuits to let's say 10. And because the ride vehicles are inverted, this track type will make sure they don't show up underground anymore. And now I'm going to hide the track so we can see what the ride looks like. Everything's working as it should. We have the vehicles going around up and down as they make their circuit. And you can always update the number of circuits under the operating mode. So everything looks really good. And they're above ground as you can see. But the only thing we have left to do is we need to actually hide the track. So first I'm going to make the entrance and exit visible again so we don't lose them. And now using the Ride Editor plugin, which you can download in the video description, we can select the impulse coaster here, select visibility and change it to invisible and hit apply and everything's invisible. It's really easy. Otherwise you could use the tile inspector to make things invisible if you want. Now reopening the edit ride vehicles plugin, we can actually change the vehicle types. So I'm gonna select a vehicle two here. Let's change the vehicle to something like the bumper boats. So it's going to change the vehicle to the bumper boats, but we want all of the vehicles after that, the following vehicles on the train to change. We don't want vehicle one to change because that is the invisible log train, just vehicle two. So we hit apply and everything following vehicle two became a bumper boat. So now we have a completely different ride type. It kind of looks more like the downdraft ride. So we have the bumper boats that don't actually move with the inclines, so they kind of stay flat. So that's kind of fun. But we could also try something like the suspended swinging airplane cars. And so now when we test it, now we have swinging cars and it definitely looks more like the wind stars ride by zamperla so it's a completely different ride with the swinging cars so it's really fun to just try different vehicle types i do recommend having the ride closed and not moving when you are changing the vehicle types because let's say we want to change it to the rafts so i can hit apply and we have rafts here but some of them are kind of at the wrong angle see <laughs> they're like a little helter skelter there so when the ride's closed, this doesn't happen, but for some reason they corrected themselves here once it stopped, so maybe you're okay. But here's another example with the dolphin jet ski vehicles, which is a fun new ride. And then you could try the Cheshire Cats. You could really do whatever you want, have fun with your imagination. And then here are the lion cars from one of the expansion packs. So it's really fun to just mess around with this ride. 
You can even use the Dragonflyer cars. So I really think you can do a lot with this ride. There are so many possibilities. The only problem is the stats are not the best, but you can use the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin and hit Edit Ride, click Freeze Rating Calculations and change the multiplier to 100, and you can set the stats to really whatever you want. So a bit of a cheat, but it works. So yeah, this is a really fun ride to add to your park. It just needs a little bit of decoration. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build Titan and Topper track on any of your wooden coasters so that they can use all of the same track pieces as the hybrid coaster. So stay tuned.